Evening, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope everyone had a great hump day. Um, looking forward to some uh, good football this weekend. Roll Tide. Um, it's over the last, um, I don't know, week, week and a half. We've uh, been talking about a lot of different things. I mean, everything from health care reform to... Um, fixing Social Security um, to uh, reforming um, our prison systems um, to or something, uh, to, to why Trump won the race um, you know why uh, uh, some of the, the divisiveness that's going on in this country so tonight we're kind of I'm going to kind of go off topic a little bit and have this not be so much of a political cast. <laughs> One thing that's always bothered me is is we do not give the respect and admiration that we should give to old people in this country. Um, you know, people are out here all the time when it's the old man, you know, stupid old woman, stupid old man, and um. Um, we just they, they don't get the respect that they need I mean um, in Asian countries they are the patriotic pa patriarchs of the family and they are reveal, revered in Asian countries and you know almost uh, put up on, on a pedestal something that we don't do do here um, and I think the reason that um, we don't give um, the respect to um, older people, um, excuse me, I'm looking for something, um, that we don't give the respect to older people that they deserve is because um, here in America we're so caught up in beauty. Uh, you see it every day. I mean, you watch commercials every night with, you know, this cream does this right here and takes 20 years off your eyes. and. Uh, you know, this cream right here, oh, she's aged 20 years up under this. I mean, yeah, do you really believe that? I mean, these are nothing to, but just snake oil cells. I mean, it's kind of like the stuff you go in to Walmart and you see the over-the-counter beautiful or beauty creams and stuff. I mean, it's nothing but lotion, okay? Lotion's lotion. Um, you know, I had a friend one time, he used to go over to Macy's and he would spend... Um, all this money on these facial creams. I got looking at the ingredients on it one day, and the ingredients were the same stuff that was in Neutrogena a face cream for men. That he was paying thirty-five dollars a bottle for that you could get, you know, for seven um, there a day. Um, but I think aging is harder on Americans probably and we're so caught up with beauty because you know we're so caught up in entertainment i mean all of our actors are good looking you know all of our actresses are good looking um you know a good looking politician is going to go further uh in in most cases um and it's something that we're all guilty of i mean why don't we go work out we go work out try to maintain the body that that we want um we do put the lotion on our face to um try to look young you know um i think some people as they age they get caught up into it too much and they try to uh um turn the clock back 20 years well guys beating time's a losing fight uh that none of us are going to win and none of us are getting out of this alive um and you know it's such a huge industry in this country um the money that's being uh Spend on these so-called beauty products. I mean, they, they make a killing. And, uh, you know, she's usually mostly just females who buy it. Uh, they seem, you know, they're at all these corny counters, which if I was running the company, I would be like, hey, let's offer something for me. And, I mean, you're only, you're cutting down half your uh, profit base there. But, anyway, sorry, I kind of got off topic there again. But, you know, in America, we're so consumed with beauty and looks, and you hear it all the time, and kids are bullied in school by the way they look. Um, you know, um, and 
it's, it's something that's just passed down. I mean, people are are guilty of, we all are, of, of looking at somebody and just judging them how they're dressed on first appearance and, you know, and not really knowing their whole story or, you know, it could, it could be anything. Um, but, you know, I think as as a whole, we, we need to get off that. It'd be a lot more healthy because I'm out here all the time, you know, five, six people sitting around. All I think you're doing is cruising, criticizing somebody's looks. You know, God, you've put on weight. God, you've aged, you know. Well, guess what? You know, we're all doing it, and we do it every day. I mean, every day I get up, I look, and I fight a war against the mirror. And um, it's weird. I mean, you can look at yourself, and you think, God, I look like I did. 15 years ago and then you look at a picture of you 15 years ago and like wow I look nothing like that anymore um you know you age right before the mirror and you, and you don't even know it but um again I mean I kind of got off the point there about that I think we're really too caught up with age and that we should really give um respect and more admiration to our older people. I mean, hey, these are the guys that, you know, beat the Nazis in World War II, um, you know, fought the you know fought in the Korean War, fought in the Vietnamese War, um, uh, and uh, I mean, really made this country what it was. I mean, throughout the fifties and sixties, and our industrial might. Um, but now it seems like that we just toss the elderly to the side. We ignore them, ignore their needs, ignore, um, you know, basis. Uh, just uh, almost like we don't care or we just ignore them. And that's just something that's always bothered me. So, I mean, that, and uh, if you notice when you're talking to a lot of the elderly, they um very chatty and... You know, that's because, you know, so many of our people that are, you know, in 70, 80 years old, they're very lonely. And that's a, uh, um, uh, many of them have depression about that. I mean, when you get to that age, I mean, you've lost most of your family. Uh, you know, it's basically just you in most cases. Um, uh, so I think that's the reason they like talk a lot. I mean, they're lonely. They want somebody to talk to. So the next time you're, sitting at a bus stop or a lunch counter or wherever there's a older person talk to that older person ask them how their day went you know even get a little bit in detail to, you get an older person talking about um i mean one of the men i used to love to talk to the most i think he passed about a year ago his name was mr paul and he was 94 95 and um i'm a big world war ii buff and I would start asking him questions about World War II, and the man would sit there and he would just talk for hours, and I would just be mesmerized listening listening to this man's um, stories, and and amazingly how mentally sharp he was, and can tell you every detail. But I would just sit there mesmerized listening to that, and we're losing a lot by not taking advantage of the elderly's knowledge and the life experiences that they've had um i mean they came up in a lot rough time than what a lot of us have so i mean there's so much more that we can learn from them i mean sit down to an older person one time and talk about some kind of subject or talk about what it was like in the 50s growing up or the uh um, um you know or what they had to do in world war Two, or you know their jobs then you know um one of the fun questions i like to ask them is <clears throat> how much was a coke when you was a kid how much was a candy bar you know how much was a pack of cigarettes a gallon of gas um you know what was the minimum wage you know average wage a week you know it's fun to know you know you, so they're talking about oh a candy bar was a nickel a coke was a dime you could go out to dinner for two dollars you know you think about that now i mean I'm thinking about Coke and candy bar for two dollars, <laughs> but you'll actually get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I mean, it's uh, really fun to sit there and just talk to another person, especially if you like history. I mean, they can really keep keep you mesmerized for 
per hour. So I guess the point I was um, really making tonight is, as a country, I don't we don't give um, near the admiration or reverence that we give older people in Asia, like in Asian countries, like like I said, in Asian countries, they're the patri patriarchs of the family, and they remain the head of the family until their death. Um, but um, next time you see an older person, talk to them, learn from them, and uh, enjoy the conversation. And I promise you that'll make their day because uh, just having somebody to talk to will um, make them feel like they're cared about. So just uh, remember our elderly and watch out for them. Um, thanks for watching the nightly podcast guys i uh, hope y'all enjoyed it um and um i'll see y'all soon